Hi, I'm Lisa Parsons. We're having a casual conversation tonight with Alan and Jordan about Jordan's new release, Funny Enough, which is out today. So we're gonna ask Alan and Jordan a few questions. We're gonna start with Alan. Alan, how did you and Jordan first meet and when? Oh, I think that was probably about four or five years ago. Um, I think the very first time we met, it was at a master class, at one of the uh, art and science of sound recording master classes in, in the Bay Area, I mm -hmm. think it was. Yep. And um, then later, uh, it turned out that uh, he knew, he knew uh, Danny Thompson, my, my, the drummer in my band. And um, he also, uh, Danny was also responsible for introducing Jordan to Tabitha, who he's going to marry uh, in a very uh, in a very short few weeks time. So um, that's that's where that's where we first met, and uh, that's it. All right. What is it that you look for personally to inspire you in a song and artist you collaborate with? Uh, it, every, everything is based around the song. I mean, if the, if the song isn't happening, what's the point of even recording it? Um, I was struck by uh, I was struck by the song. Uh, funny enough, uh, felt it was uh, well worth uh, investigating uh, as a, as a single. Um, Jordan and I have, have actually um, done quite a few things together. We've uh, we, he was on tour with us. Uh, last year in 2019 and uh, he also sang one of the one of the singles that we released from from the album he didn't sing it on the album itself but he sang it live which is a song called i can't get here get there from here and um, there's also an upcoming single which jordan has uh, kindly lent his vocal talents to uh, for a, a single release to be released with a very special live video from Tel Aviv in the uh, early months of next year. That's fantastic. There you go. Okay, the new single, Funny Enough, is a very big song. Was this your initial vision for the song, and was there anything in particular that stood out to, your, to you during the song development and recording process? Um, I, I think Jordan has to take the credit for a lot of the uh, a lot of the choice of uh, musicians and stuff, and they're, they're his friends. Danny, of course, on, on drums. Uh, a guy called John Verne on the keyboards, is that right? Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, um, Mikey T, who we call, we, that's not his real name, but we call him Mikey T, who played uh, guitar and bass. And a uh, lovely job. And then the singer, uh, the backing singer that, uh, that Jordan hired completely on his own without any, any uh, any input from me? Um, what was her name? Tabitha Fair. Tabitha, co coincidentally, another Tabitha. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> but it, uh, it, it, yeah, I mean, it, uh, it, it turned out great, and it was it was nice to um, have something to <laughs> something to do in these quiet times. Uh, you know, with the coronavirus, it was it was good to be in the studio with uh, with people that uh, I admired and. Likewise. Well, this song and recording has a phenomenal cast of characters, both musicians and engineers, as you, as you just mentioned. Um, can you tell us about them and how it came to be that you all worked together on this project? I think that's a Jordan question. I think you should. Yeah. Um, well, obviously, Danny Thompson and I, we're, we're best friends. We've known each other for close to 10 years now. Um, and we've been playing music together for a long time. Um, Michael Philip Taylor, uh, also known as Mikey T, uh, he, he and I actually wrote the song. Uh, he is a brilliant guitarist, bassist, and musician in general. Um, we got together and, I, and he helped me bring this, this song home uh, in, into what it is. Uh, Tabitha Fair, um, she is a she is a wonderful vocalist, both a, a, a renowned solo artist as well as a featured background vocalist on tour with many artists such as Rascal Flatts and and others. Um, 
John Varn, he is, I've known him for about six years now, uh, maybe even longer. He is, in, in my mind, a prodigy on the piano and organ. He, he does a lot of touring um, with other celebrated artists and has worked on several solo projects himself. Um, just an all around amazing individual. And um, so the, the cast of characters involved here is, is in my mind, the best of the best. We know a Bruskin as well, um, alongside with Alan. And uh, I just wanted to bring it home. Nice. Well, guys, this year has shut down a lot of the music community in many ways. Now, I'm going to rephrase that and say it has shut down <laughs> the music community. Um, you yourself actively tour, Alan, although, like many other artists, have not been able to. Have you been spending more time in the studio this year? And if so, is there anything in the future we could expect to hear from you? Um, with the coronavirus scare, obviously, we've been very careful. Um, and uh, I've I've uh, I've managed to uh, get a complete degree of trust with Noah, the engineer, Noah Bruskin, you know, who is also playing absolutely safe. So we we're, we're confident uh, that we're not uh, spreading any nasty viruses to each other. Um, so we've been happily working together. Same with uh, same with Jordan, and uh, we were there um, doing the the final vocal. Um, you know, when the pandemic was at its height, and, uh, and uh, of course the second wave is now upon us, and the and the song is just coming out. But, yeah. uh, I'm uh, I'm very hopeful it's going to do great. But uh, to answer the question, yes, uh, more more studio work than usual. We've been mixing uh, two live shows, um, one uh, from Utrecht in Holland, and uh, the most important one, which is. Uh, out of Tel Aviv in early 2019, and that's going to feature uh, Jordan singing on a song called... Um, I can't not, get I, there from here. No. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> you can't, yes. <laughs> but it, no, but it's never-ending show. Ah, uh, yes, there is a surprise <laughs> track. Um, yeah, you'll hear Jordan yeah. singing uh, I Can't Get There From Here on the video, but the bonus track is... Uh, is a new song called uh, The Never Ending Show, and that will actually be the title of the uh, Tel Aviv video when we eventually get to finally releasing that. It'll probably be the summer of next year before that happens. Nice. Okay, Jordan, we've got a couple questions. Um, Absolutely. Can you tell us a little bit about your pro process, process, as my husband would say, the process in writing this song and what it means? Um. Well, the song started, um, song started, I sat down, found a couple chords, uh, they just kind of fell out of my hands, and I started singing a melody line. I actually started, fell out of, it. Fell out of my hands, one of the, I actually, uh, it sounds weird, but I actually started crying a little bit with the melody line, and that's when I knew that we needed to explore the song a little bit more, because when I write music, I truly go off of music and how that makes me feel and and um it's i can't i can't uh elaborate that uh, or elaborate on that and it makes sense but i i go off music first and foremost um i flew out to the bay area, bay area to meet up with uh michael and we sussed out the song the placement of chords you know uh, the bridge and, and, and all things, um, recorded a demo and, uh, got it to Alan. And then we moved forward as, as far as what the song means to me, um, this year, I think has it's been a rough one for all of us. And one thing I think every human being has in common, um, at this point in time is we've all been, we've all had to spend a lot of time with ourselves, whether we were physically alone or not. And and this song is about that experience and what it means. Um, it's, it's a song of self-reflection to me. Nice. What is it that you look 
for personally to inspire you in a song, an artist you collaborate with? Feeling. I think feeling first and foremost. Um, it's, it's hard to define whether or not we're all on the same page musically. There's a lot of talented people out there. That doesn't necessarily mean two talented people can work together. Um, I, I think it's all about what is the objective and, and what is the project we're working on, but um, also vibe. I think vibe is very, very important um, because it's understood that everybody's competent if we're all in the same room together. And I, I think it's about being bigger than ourselves. And, and that's, that's, to me, the process of collaboration. And, and if everybody's on that page, then it's, uh, we're on point with, the, with what we're doing. And you guys love to have fun. Absolutely. I, I don't think you it's... And this will yeah. prove it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a little plug for Elmer Rose. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, Jordan, yes. any, any plans for releases coming up? Absolutely. Um, I plan to release a new song every 60 days if I, if we can help it obviously there's a lot of variables um as alan's mentioned before we've we're working on several different projects uh, with different purposes together and uh but yeah i'll i'll be writing music till the day i die so and we want to give it to you good stuff guys well congratulations cool. thank you very much cheers cheers guys alan and may your music be heard around the world. That was pretty good. Bye. <laughs>